I want to talk to you this morning. I want to tell you it's fighting time. I want to ask you, are you an aggressive person or are you a passive person? You know, there's times in our lives it's we need to be aggressive, and there's times in our lives in certain situations it's okay to be passive and let things go that really shouldn't be a big deal, that the enemy wants us to make a big deal. But then there's things that we need to get aggressive with that the enemy tries to say, oh, it's okay, just sit back let it go, that we don't need to, right? Listen, when the enemy comes, but when, like I said, when it comes to the enemy, we cannot be passive any longer. We must be aggressive. We must learn to fight the good fight. 1 Timothy 6.12 says this, Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you were made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Amen. An important part of fighting the good fight is learning to recognize your enemy. You must learn to recognize your enemy. And when we do, again, we cannot be passive. If we sit back and if we're passive when it comes to our enemy, he's going to come and kill, steal, and destroy us. Kill, steal, and destroy our families. It is time to get aggressive against the enemy. Amen? When we sit around and we do nothing, then this allows fear, doubt, guilt, shame, all these things to take a hold of our lives. Amen? We've got to learn to use the tools that God has given us to fight the good fight. God has given us many tools and many avenues to fight against the enemy. Are we fighting against the enemy? Are we fighting against each other? Listen, we've got to be able to stand and say this. I want to be able to stand and say this, and I hope that you do too. 2 Timothy 4 through 7. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith. Are you going to be able to stand and say that? Or are we going to have to stand and say, you know what? When we get before God, life threw me some curveballs. Some things happened that was unfair. It just got too hard, God. I know you understand. I just gave up. I quit. It wasn't worth it anymore. Or are we going to be able to stand and say, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And I have kept the faith. Amen. That's my prayer for each and one of us is that we can say that. Through whatever attack the enemy throws at us, we can say we have fought the fight. We have finished the race. Most importantly, we have kept our faith. Amen.